Good morning, industrious illumination fans. This is Mr. Thomas Kilbasinski of the Industrious Illumination Show. We are going to go through here with the Phillies' struggles over the last 10 to 15 games, actually toward the end of the All-Star break, because they have basically been a disaster. They're holding an eight and a half game lead. They have 65 wins. They got their butts whipped by the Yankees. I'm just going to perfectly say this. You can make all the trades you want, but if you don't have the team chemistry to overcome runners in scoring position, you're leaving runners in scoring position that are unacceptable. The ace of the pitching staff got rumped, but that was the first time all year. Can't contain you. The 93 Phillies, basically Chris Moore put it best. This is the nature of the business. And if Rob Thompson can remain cool, calm, and collective like Jim Fergosi in even the most urgent situations, then they'll get through this season and get to the promised land. However, Bryce Harper has been slumping, period. And you have to have hidden chemistry. You cannot expect people to watch a team that plays as bad as this right now. For crying out loud, you got beat by the Pirates. The Pirates. I, mean, I can understand the good teams like the Orioles and the Yankees, but you have to compete against these teams in the playoffs or you're going to lose. And yes, we have the, still the overall best record in baseball, and that's okay. They're not perfect. They're not going to win all their games, but the pitching has to improve. The bullpen has to improve. Thank God they made a couple solid trades. Let's give them some time. I think the lowest that any of these teams in, will win the division. But I don't see them blowing it like the Giants in 51 and the Phillies in 64. They should be able to get into the playoffs with everything that they have and get deep into the playoffs and even in the World Series. But if you're going to face like the Astros or if you're going to face any of the other American League teams, you need to become prepared. You need to know what you're doing. And this is just a sports experience of watching the Phillies all my life. And there's been bitter disappointment most of the time, but sometimes it's been in like the 2008, 1980, and 93 Phillies coming out of nowhere. And they were two games away practically from winning the World Series. So at that point in time, let's keep our hopes up on a positivity. We still have a great pitching staff. So let's just keep it like that at this point in time. Hope everyone has a great day and aloha.